Good morning. My name is Robert. I'm from insurance industry for almost 14 years. I would like to share with you something about retirement. People are planning to have a retirement at the age of 20, 30, even 40s. So they are thinking of how to actually build up their retirement funds during the days when they start working. And in most cases, they do not have a proper planning. So end of the day, they end up with only one income, which is solely depends on what we call EBF or KWSP. And in statistics, we get to know that most of us, the uh, most of the clients or most of the employees, they spend their remaining uh, EPA funds within three to four years, uh, three to five years. So it's actually a very serious issue in the markets. And up to seventy six percent of the populations do not have sufficient savings for their retirements. EPF is uh, Employee Providence Funds, which is actually um, uh, been hosted by the uh, governments to make sure that at the old age, each and every one of us will entitle our retirement beginning at the age of 55. And it has been a, a practice to all the employers to enforce these so-called facilities to all the employees to make sure that the moment when they get into a retirement age, they can withdraw this for their own retirement purpose. And somehow or other, government has actually looked into this very seriously as due to almost half of the populations do not have sufficient savings, even though they have completed 20 to 30 years of working. The EPF is actually works in the sense that it was divided into two different accounts. Account 1 and Account 2. So Account 1, they can actually have a 70% of the total savings for them to make sure that they have a re enough retirements during the age of 55. And account 2 will consist of 30% where they can make use of it for medical treatments at old age or they could also use it for housing loan settlements. We understand that at the age of retirement, mostly people are questioning about how much do I need for my retirement. And in order for you to maintain your current lifestyle, you should have at least 1 million for your own in order for you to sustain for another 20 years, which will only maintain your current lifestyle. It will still remain to spend you at least half a million if you want to keep your living expenses lower, comparing that if you want to maintain as what you have now. So 1 million is actually one of the concerns. How are they going to build these 1 million retirement funds? Through the statistics, almost 80% of the population, they do not have 1 million in their account, especially in their KWSB account. And sad to say that majority people are holding about less than 300,000 at their retirement age in their EPF account. So this is a big issue and a very big concern that how are we going to prevent this to happen? So, uh, a lot of people are looking at investment. Well, in order to build their 1 million goal in a dream goal, what they do is most people will rather invest in properties because they believe that properties will help them to grow their income much even faster and with the growth of at least two times to three times of what they have invested. And what we can see from the whole market scenario is it will not be 100% sure that this will going to grow because Housing or properties investment is very depending on locations. If your locations will not be developed, 
and it's actually been lived for certain years without without developments. In fact, it's actually a disaster to them. Why? They have to pay, they have to serve for at least 20 to 30 years housing loans. And if the, the property value was not actually grown up as according to what they expected, they will end up being tied down by these burdens and at the same time they have to fulfill all the maintenance every year. We also have a choice of going through bank, through banks, which you can use savings as part of your retirement planning. So bank savings provides several banks account, which is offered by commercial banks. So what it, what it does is they normally offer you with the fixing fixed returns, we call fixed deposits. And some even they are giving a little bit higher, but with some condition with, with investment uh, portfolio. So how it does is, as a good planning, you have to actually have a very good discipline in order for you to, to help you to achieve your goal of retirement. Say for example, your income if solely depends on your salary. What it does is that you have to put a certain portion, say for example 10 to 20%, to keep aside for your savings first. So when you accumulate up to a certain amount, you can turn it into FD. And it can help you to prevent being used it or misuse it. Okay. So the moment when you keep uh, enough FD based on the numbers of FD uh, account, you will have to bother much on using the FD because it's generating higher returns as compared to savings account. And do not leave so much amount of money in your savings account because savings account don't pay you high interest. Another option that you can easily accumulate your so-called your retirement funds through uh, insurance as well. So insurance is also part of the uh, part of the savings that you can use because uh, insurance is using forced savings method. In other words, is that whether you like it or not, every month you keep aside, you must go into this savings account with a certain guaranteed returns to make sure that you achieve your goal within 5, 10 or 20 years. So it's actually customized based on your your portfolios. Okay. So this is based on savings account that you can build in, in insurance in, uh, in insurance uh, savings plans. Mm -hmm.